Hello, I'm a wanderer named Ronald Easter, and my goal is to become the Samurai Jack of this island-sized landfill that was built over an Indian burial ground. In this post-apocalyptic world, the stressful wasteland was created due to Japan being tired of weebs stealing their culture, so they decided to nuke the whole planet. But since it was a Japanese nuke, the true Jappers were unaffected by the nuclear blast. Nonetheless, as a Scottish Asian, I'm still just a drifter that can be killed at any second. Plus, I suffer from a genetic mutation known as Down Syndrome, which makes you look strong and cunning, but I'm actually lacking the rage strength multiplier trait found in most Downies. Toughness, strength, and getting money are the only things that matter to me in the survival of the fittest scouting combine. Anyways, getting tougher in Kenshi's world is the equivalent to growing up in a ghetto where you get jumped on the daily. Now getting stronger is a lot simpler, you just have to wear a backpack full of heavy shit and go for a walk. That is how our traumatized ancestors got their damn near invincible physical and mental health. The first key to survival is looting. I stole myself a giant wig, a leather rello, and a book someone spit on. Then I did some air mining to conserve some oxygen energy which was very needed around all of these mouth breathers. Next, I sold some copper because I wanted to start a legit business. Finally my journey can begin. I wanted to go anywhere that does not include me getting killed, and I know that is an obvious statement, but I was kind of hoping that Kenshi himself would hear me and listen to my plea. The first thing I ran into was racism. <laughs> there be a business here, make it quick flat skin. You there! The spiky faced Hot Topic employee wanted to check me for stolen goods. I was holding no banties or wristbands, so I accepted the search. Acceptable. Go. I then bumped shoulders with the guards acting like I was gonna fight, but everybody knew I was not gonna swing. As a flat skin, I was not allowed to enter that city, which led me to wander off into Japan's outback. I noticed the acupunctured eyes of a creature living under this here land gazing upon me as I ran. I felt vulnerable because I was all alone out in the squad based martial arts tournament that included weapons. I ran into my first fight dangerously cocky, and I was lucky I didn't get killed in my debut of high numbers or everything. However, five escaped servants did beat me down and steal my damn dust witch. Welcome to fucking Kenshi I guess. Maybe these guys will help me. Oh, they're slavers. Well that figures. I tried to live a peaceful life and I got mugged and enslaved. One of the slavers carried gorilla sized me the whole trip. What a trooper. My captors whooped hungry savages with ease, and one of the slavers had me on his shoulder to use my limp body as a cardboard cutout quality shield. Then I tried to escape, but I was knocked out for doing this. As a cruelly usual punishment they left me, which gave me a chance to run away. I'm now free, but you must always run if you don't want to be it in starvation tag. At least I safely made it to a city. Everyone knows city life is too safe and boring, so I ventured back out into the everything will kill you wilderness. I went back to the copper mine grind when a group of assholes wanted to steal my rice and split it among themselves. I was kidnapped again, but my new kidnappers took me to my old kidnappers, which meant I was enslaved again, all just for being a redhead. Attempts to run away just led to me being beaten into an autosave. They didn't leave my empty ketchup bottle looking ass to die though. I was forced to walk alongside these hardcore blitz players. I then saw another squad and was kinda hoping they would kill my captors. Of course, no one in this world acknowledges the shoulder bumps. Next, a pack of bored demon dogs attacked the slavers. I took the opportunity to run and I was caught doing so. I was given another chance to try and leave again as the men dealt with nature. I got away from the men, but you can never get away from nature if you're a chained up half naked hippie. While I was wounded, I had to keep on running until I found another city. Well, I was shot for being an escaped slave, and now I was bleeding out. I crawled, bled, and one of my legs was being a spaz. At this point, there was no getting away. I couldn't walk, and I was probably going to bleed to death. The people here have no respect for the dead. I was used as an ineffective pedestrian speed bump during my heroic final hour, which fits perfectly with the slow short road that was my death.